How's it going, everyone? Today we're going to be painting Captain Lucreza from One Page Rules Secret of Tixile campaign on my mini factory Frontiers. Uh, let's look at the model there. Today we're going to be using Da Vinci paint set from uh, Tooth and Coats, as well as brushes from Chronicle Cards, The Wolf and Sable. We have the paints and scheme lists up there. And then we have the concept art there as well. Starting off with Skeleton Legion, we're going to have all the armor panels. Uh, don't forget the bird's wings as well. I did when I did it. I had to go back and do that, but not a big deal. All right. Um, this is my first time using two thin coats paints. So uh, you can see here, having a little issue getting on that leg there. It's fine. Just go back, thin it a little bit more, and then we're good to go there. And there we are with all the armor panels taken care of, bird's wings, good to go. Went back and got them. And then next up, we're going to hit Royal Cloak on the cloak. Sounds pretty simple, right? I really like this color. I'm definitely a big fan of it. Um, besides the cloak, we're going to be hitting the uh, little shield on the chest, as well as the stripes down the arm and the uh, cuffs on the right arm. And there we are, all set with the uh, cloak and then the stripes and the cuff. Next up, we're going to have Curious Leather as the base coats for all of the browns on the model. So we're going to the boots, the straps across the front, uh, shoulder armor, and then the tassels and the sword. Um, we'll say that we are just going to be doing the base coat wash and then highlight on there. I do, a, I do some cleanup after the washes, and then I also uh, mix some paints up to get on the second highlight on most of the model, um, just to bring a little bit more into it. Uh, but honestly, it's super beginner friendly. Um, anyone can, can paint like this, definitely. And it's a great place to start for uh, newer painters. Here we have the browns all set there. I'm looking good, especially against that uh, skeleton legion on the armor. Just a couple little spots here. We got the marine blue going down the leg um, for those stripes on the leg. It's also going to hit that little ribbon on the chest. Now I am using the Chronicle RPGs Glint Sable size 2 on this. Normally I'm using a 3 or a 2 for base coats. Um, I do like bigger brushes. Most of my work's done with uh, even a 2. Um, you use whatever brush is more comfortable. You're more comfortable with. That, that, that's it. Wh whatever you're good with, you are good with. That is totally fine. All right, there we have these stripes and ribbon taken care of. And the next up, we're going to have Trooper White. Now, don't do what I do. You do the Trooper White before the stripes on the arm and the leg. Do the trooper white, put the wash on there, and all done. And then go back and do the burgundy, do the blue. That's my advice. Anyway, you see me here, Chronicle uh, RPG size one here with the sable. Um, getting in between the stripes already painted. Um, I will say the white covers extremely well. I was actually very happy with this one. And there we go. That's what it's going to look like. Don't forget the uh, little ribbon. I did at first. Got to go back and do that. Refilm this little part. It's all good. Now we're going to move on to the metallics. All right. We're going to use a uh, sewer coat silver. For the legs, knee, sword, belt buckle. Forgot the chain around the back. Don't do that either. We've got the little strips on the hip plate. They're called falds, by the way. I learned that. I want to know what they were called, so I figured it out. Uh, I really do like this metallic. It covers very well. Um, you can see there, most parts here, I did not use two coats. No two thin coat for this. It, it was one coat. One coat was good.
And with that, the metallic's gonna be all finished up with the silver there. We're gonna move on to uh, the gold next. For that, we're gonna be using dragon's gold. We got the uh, pin on the chest, the fleur de lis on that little uh, chest shield. We got some embellishments on the straps, uh, being on the sword tassel, gears on the sword handle. Uh, just little bits here and there. There's not much gold on there. For the brush of the metallics, I switched over to the uh, wolf bristle brushes. Um, did not want to use the Kalinsky staples. Yes, wolf bristle brushes are still going to be uh, natural bristle brushes. But they seem to work a little bit of the metallics, and they are honestly workhorses. Uh, number three wolf bristle is what I do most of my base coats with usually. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the Kalinsky Sable on this one because I want to see how they handle the base coats. Um, they, they do well. I'll probably use them in the future too. Um, but yeah, I just use the uh, Wolf's Bristle Brushes on there. Now, a lot of my footage on the face was uh, not usable at all. I didn't stay in frame. So, but we're going to use Paladin Flesh. Um, just over the whole face, back of the head. Uh, don't forget the back of the head. Don't forget the neck. Um, I'm not saying that out of experience or anything. Just, you know, just don't, don't do that. It's good. If you do, just go back and paint it. Like, maybe I did. And that's going to be it for the uh, base coats on there. We're going to move on to washes next. Um, and first up is going to be Oblivion Black Wash. And I did thin these down one to one with water. Um, it seemed to work a little better getting into the recesses there. Um, and I had a little bit more control over them. I always go back in the second pass, which you will see later. I do indeed do that. Um, I just get the silver and then that ribbon with the Oblivion Black Wash. And then for everything else, we're going to be using the Battle Mud Wash. Then the same, one-to-one, -one, just using water. Um, one thing I did notice, now I don't know if it's because I mixed it with water or not, but I did notice these dried extremely fast, which can be a great thing. It doesn't need to be anything at all. It's just a thing. Um, speaking to a couple other people, they had the similar experience with them. Uh, so just take note of that. Um, you want to finish off an area with the wash before you move on to the next one. Kind of think of it like a uh, like you would a contrast paint. Finish panel, move on to the next one. And then I did go back and hit those recesses again with the washes. I do that because it just adds a little bit of variation to it. Um, pops them out a little bit more. Uh, just adds the overall feel and look of the model. And then for the cloak, I just hit the deepest recesses on there. Hit the undersides, they're going to be in shadow. Uh, darken them up a little bit uh, to make the highlights pop out more later. Uh, just, just the inner folds, nothing on the top. With that, base coats and washes are done. We're going to go ahead and speed through just a little cleanup on the uh, base coats there. Uh, clean up some spots here and there, as well as just uh, get a nice layer going for the highlights, which are going to come up.
Then for the uh, first layer of highlights on the armor, we're going to be using a 50-50 mix of Skeleton Horde and Vampire Fang. All right, we're just going to hit the uh, edge highlights. You'll see me hit a little bit on the uh, chest there towards the top. Um, don't forget those wings. Can't do that. Not again. Just go around and hit, uh, hit your highlights. And I did make sure to get the wings. You can also see that, uh, just move the model. Put the model where you need it to get those highlights. For the last highlight on the armor, we're just going to be using pure vampire thing. And that is just going to be edge highlights, upward facing edges. Those corners are going to hit light. Uh, really, really helps. Helps stand out. Good practice for those getting used to edge highlights. It's all practice. It's all work. It's all work in progress. It's a journey, not a destination. Every model gets better. And this is one of those ways you can improve every single model. Just practice those edge highlights. So in true tutorial fashion, someone, I don't know who, forgot to film part. And uh, the part that they forgot to film is going to be that first highlight, which is going to be a 50-50 of uh, Royal Cloak and Sword Hilt Burgundy. So that's already on the model right now. And here you see me applying the straight Sword Hilt Burgundy on the chest. Uh, we're doing those stripes down the arms, the cuff, and the chest on the shield. On the blue, we're going to be using Elysium blue, stripes on the leg, ribbon on the chest. Just an edge highlight on the ribbon, make that pop out and stand out against the rest of the chest, and uh, you'll be golden. Noble Steed Brown is going to be our highlight color for the leather. Got the back of the boot, straps across the front, glove, tassels on the sword, as well as the uh, leather bits on the shoulder armor. Mithril Blade is going to be the highlight for all the silver. So most places you want to just hit an edge highlight. Um, you want to use the shape of the model. Like you see me there on the little knee bolts. Um, and just hit those edges. There are a few spots that you're going to want to hit. You can hit a little bit more. Uh, I believe I do more so on the heel of the right boot. And then the uh, little inner portion of the uh, little elbow buckler. Um, make it pop out more. Makes it look a little bit better. But if you don't like doing that, you don't have to. 
It is your model. You can paint it however you want to. On the gold, we're going to have a two-step highlight. First one, you already did. And it's going to be the uh, dragon gold on the cleanup after the wash. Um, it is going to be your first highlight. Congratulations. You did it. You didn't even know. Unless I said it earlier. I might have. I don't know. Either way, you did it. Good job. Second one's going to be 50-50 uh, of dragon's gold and mithril blade. Um, it's going to... Just give a nice edge highlight, and that's all you're looking for now. You just want to pop those edges. You could go a step farther, mix a little bit more of that Mithril Blade, maybe a uh, two-part Mithril Blade, one-part gold mix, and hit just the corners. Or you don't. It's up to you. We're going to have three highlights on the face. But it's pretty simple still. We're going to start with the three to one of uh, Paladin Flesh and Dwarf Flesh. That's just three parts Paladin Flesh, one part Dwarf Flesh. After that, we're going to do a one to one. And then lastly, just pure Dwarf Flesh. Each time, you're just going to hit a smaller and smaller area in there. You're going to follow the shape of the face, of the head, the back of the head. Um, and just layer that in in a smaller area each time. Um, that's it. You do that, you paint it decent looking face. At this point in time, I realized I needed to paint the eye patch. Yep. So I went back and did that eventually. And here I am going in with that one-to-one -one or 50-50 mix of Paladin Flesh and Dwarf Flesh. You see me start with the nose, did a little bit too much, dab it off real quick, it works. You see I'm highlighting a smaller area, I'm not forgetting the ear, I do that a lot, proud of myself for that one. And just get your highlights in there, just inside the first layer. After the face was done, I did go in with a very diluted battle mud wash. We're talking five parts water to one part. Dry your brush off. Just a little bit on there. Just to smooth everything out. Get rid of those layer lines. Um, and just pull it all together. On the hair, I wanted a grayish, whitish hair. How do we do that without a gray? Well, you're going to start by just covering it with a heavy coat of the Oblivion Black Wash. After that, you're going to take some pure Trooper White, and you're going to mix in some uh, Bolivian Black Wash to thin it down. So you're going to use thin it. What do you get? You get a good-looking gray. All right. And with that, you're going to go over, and you're just going to bring out some of those strands or chunks of hair that are in the model. You're going to leave the recesses black and just bring out what's already on the model.
After that, I just go in with the pure trooper white and just hit the inside of those gray mid-tones we put on there. And uh, got some pretty good looking gray hair with uh, no gray and no black paint. Good job. Proud of you. And with all of that, we have a completed Captain Lucreza ready to take the Vinci Expedition through the holy city of Tixel. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Always willing to help anyone. Thank you very much. You have a great day.